so hello guys welcome to my channel welcome to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the latest thing that morara kebaso just released from where he was being treated apparently he cannot even go to the uh, hospital because he doesn't really trust anybody and this is i just came across him i just uh, some of my audience just told me about him and the day i discovered him he was attacked at boma or something where he was supposed to give a speech and this is what he has to say after what happened in Bomas was very unfortunate. I did not speak about it yesterday when we had the press conference with uh, my family because in Ilikwana Kizunguzungu, ya medication na madawa. But um, I have an injury at the back of the head and an injury on the neck because a sharp point of uh, a leg, a chair. Uh, hit me on the neck and I also have an other injury Kwamgu. but by the grace of God I'm alive um, today I'm feeling better yesterday I think I was under you know a lot of medication so I got dizzy um, painkillers but uh, and, and uh, even uh, antibiotics but today I'm better Chenye Ilifanyika Bomas was very unfortunate and it happened in the full glare of national TV. The people incited it and leaders holding state office. The member of parliament for Waraka, Honorable TJ Kajwang. The honorable member of parliament for, or the dishonorable member of parliament for Dagoreti North, Beatrice Elachi. The dishonorable member of parliament for Makadara, Georgia Ladwa. And these are members of Parliament of ODM. So I don't know whether this is uh, this is ODM's way of doing things. Um, and ODM has been supported. Uh, ODM has been supported by Kenyans for a long time. Uh, I don't think whether this is how they should pay back for the support they've received. And uh, ODM has been very violent, even in other occasions. I even witnessed a press conference where the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka was supposed to uh, address a press conference and ODM goons walked in and uh, chased away Kalonzo Musioka. So I don't know whether they believe to be the only ones capable of violence. Uh, I don't know whether they believe that or that they believe they are the kings of violence and nobody can beat them when it comes to violence or can be more violent than them. But all I can tell them is that uh, revenge belongs to God. And uh, for me, I will not lose sight of my mission to turn around and start planning revenge against them. I'll stay focused on my mission. And uh, the Kenyan people are going to avenge whatever they did and that they've done to many other people. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's been violently attacked by ODM trying to kill. You see, when you throw more than 50, 30 chairs at someone, you don't intend to warn them. That's not a warning. You actually intend to kill them because mutu kiti ya chuma kwa kichwa, viti zaidi ya thelathini, unataka kumuwa. Kwa hivyo yule MCA ambaye likuwa mevaa koti ya pink kwa kamera na kwa video anaitwa Ringo Nao vijana ambao wanatembea na Joja Ladwa na wanatembea na Beatrice Elachi na wengine wao wanatembea na na Nrobo TJ Kajwang mulifanya kitendo ya unyama lakini pia kitendo ya aibu kubwa muliaibisha hiyo chama yenu na muliaibisha kabila yenu kwa sababu sisi kama wa Kenya hatutaki kuanza kupigana kikabila na kusema o oh, hii kabila imefanyia kabila yetu hii. As Kenya want to be one united country. And our problems as Kenyans are common. Shida zetu. Hata hao wenye walikuwa na nipiga. Si ati wao watafaidika na social health insurance eh, yo chief. Si ati wao wako sawa ati watoto wao wakipita wenda university. Funding model itawa favor. Labda itafeva viongozi, lakini not the goons. The goons hata wao wananunua vitu kwa maduka hapa Kenya na hapa Nairobi. 
they know how expensive things have become. Wanalipa rent hapa Nairobi, wanajua vile rent imekuwa expensive. Wanajua vile kuna insecurity kwa communities. Wanajua vile corruption imetuumiza na imeharibu nchi yetu. Na pesa wanalipo hata sio ya maana ni pesa kidogo sana ambayo iweze kubadilisha maisha yao. Lakini kama uchumi yetu ingekuwa vizuri, they would not be even a goon for any politician. They would be doing their businesses or they will be employed somewhere. So what they did was criminal. I'm surprised that the police have not done anything about it. The director of criminal investigation has not done anything about it. The inspector general of police has not done anything about it and uh, and I don't think they have a plan of doing anything. The police service wamenyamaza na DCI wamenyamaza. Meaning they silently approve whatever happened. Uh, I think police wanajaribu kutuambia kwamba mtu yote ambaye anapinga serikali if you are attacked and injured or killed that's okay. That, that's okay. Wale watu ambao wao wanataka kudefend ni wenye wako pande ya serikali ama wenye wana support hii serikali ya ufisadi. Hivyo ndivyo polisi wanatuonyesha. Na kama ni hivyo, I don't know why we still pay taxes to them to, to the government because hiyo bunduki polisi wamebeba ni ushuru wetu na hiyo risasi ni ushuru wetu. Na hiyo uniform wamevaa ni ushuru wetu na mshahara yao ni ushuru wetu. So as police Why are you partisan? Why, why are you being used by politicians? Because mimi nilifika bombers. Nilipofika kwa gate, askari ndio walinizuia kuingia. Na wakunizuia ati huko kuna shida usiingie, utapatana na shida. Walikuwa wananizuia as morara nisiingie. When I managed to go in, nilipita milango tatu za bombers kama sifunguliwi. Milango ya kwanza wakani block they didn't open for me mlango ya pili wakani block they didn't open for me mlango ya tatu they didn't open for me actually i blame myself for not seeing the red flags mimi nasema hata kama tunasema walifanya makosa hata mimi i should have seen that there was something yeah i should have seen the red flag but anyway when i got in na ivurugi kazuka there were more than a hundred police officers in bombers on that day outside i don't know why they didn't do anything why they didn't come into well uh, the 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 chaos because i didn't go in and with any group nilienda peke yangu ningeingia na group ndio ngasema group mbili zimepigana but i went alone na watu walinipiga sio wananchi it's not the public the public in fact were demanding ni pewe microphone TJ Kajwanga kikatani sipewe nionge. Uh, watu walini attack walikuja specifically kutoka nyuma ya dais ya TJ Kajwang na TJ Kajwang ndiye ali point na hata ali inside TV wakisikia na kila mkenya akisikia na hata aliongea kwa kijaluo. The question is kama ilikuwa shida yangu na wajaluo. My first rally ni mawe kufanya Kenya ni Kondele. Mbona sikupigwa mawe Kondele? I believe the Luo people are very peaceful loving. It's just a few people who want to intentionally and specifically give them a bad name. Mimi nataka kusema mimi mambo ya ukabila I'm beyond it. And I'm not going to participate kwa mambo ya ukabila. Na mambo ya political violence I'm not going to participate. Si ati nimeshindwa ama sina uwezo ya ku mobilize for political violence but if we play by the rules that these people are playing then how are we better than them? I as Morara Kebaso I'm trying to groom and bring up myself as an alternative young leader and not just me alone but I'm trying to inspire other young leaders to join me in the inject party inject stands for inclusion of national justice economic and civic transformation so I even want other young leaders to also join me. But when these young leaders join me, they'll be asking, what is the philosophy of this party? What do we stand for? Nyipia, are you violent like ODM? I do stand for beating up people and injuring them and so on and you know. And I'll be telling them no, we don't stand for violence. We just want a better Kenya. Right? So yoki tu ilifanyika nitendo la aibu kwa hiyo chama 
hata kwa wanachama wake na hata kwa viongozi wao the police have refused to take any action ni sawa as police hivyo vile mnafanya sijali it will come uh, to bite you one day as police when you refuse to be independent you know you can go to my twitter investigate me for a tweet i made about david langat and arrest me mnizungushe police station kama tano unajua walinitoa yamba police station walinitoa Nairobi area police station police headquarters wakanipeleka PC headquarters wakanipeleka Kiamba wakanipeleka Ruiru wakanipeleka Thika ni wakanipeleka Kamkunji if you can do all that because of a tweet a tweet which David Langat never complained but you cannot do this for violence that has been seen yet the work of the police is to protect life and property so if you don't care about my life you as police why don't you care about the property that was destroyed anyway ni sawa hivyo vile mnafanya apandacho mtu atavuna tavuna tu hiyo once the police become partisan and start playing for politicians and working as errand for politicians they will report they saw now my intention for going to bomas i could have said this yesterday but as i've told you during the family meeting nilikuwa na a lot of busyness because of medication but uh, right now i'm better I have injuries on the neck and on the back of the head and on my leg but uh, let's just say i'm good niko sawa uh, niko sawa god has kept me safe i was not paralyzed i didn't receive a permanent injury i was treated at the nairobi hospital but when i realized that uh, the media has realized that i'm at nairobi hospital i shifted to another hospital so that i can be treated wamenifanyia scan ya kichwa ya shingo they've treated me well na niko sawa i'm back to work and the work is this the work is the impeachment ya honorable rigathi gashagwa should not be a tribal affair. Na mimi nimejaribu sana to ensure it's not a tribal affair. Kwa sababu kuna vile alikuwa ameanza kupata sympathy ya watu wa Mount Kenya. Nataka kushukuru watu wa Mount Kenya for saying kufa gari kufa dereva because watu wa Mount Kenya wamekuwa loud sana kwa hiyo maneno. You know Mount Kenya in itself has 4 to 5 million votes which means if change is going to come to Kenya especially through the ballot it has to begin in mount kenya because they have a lot of votes they should first champion or lead us toward that change and that change is not regarding gashagwa because wakati mnamuonea huruma mnasema oh huyu ni mtu wetu anapigwa you are making a presidential candidate you are giving someone influence and this person is going to use this influence atafanya vitu mbili aidha atauzia william ruto so watazameana waseme E, ile ilikuwa mambo ya shetani ni Raila ndiye aliingia kwa serikali akavuruga tusame he will sell the influence you given him to William Ruto or he'll run for president himself na mkimchagua mtakuwa mmeruka from the frying pan to the fire we want change in Kenya and we want to change away from corruption every single thing Kenyans are talking about that has a problem i morara i want to tell you that the problem is corruption If you look at the healthcare sector the reason it has failed completely is because of state capture and corruption people are thinking about making money ni kuiba pesa ya medical equipment ni kuiba pesa ya madawa ni madaktari kujaribu ku divert wagonjwa to private clinics it's just corruption ndio imeua hiyo sector if you come to education it is corruption that has killed the sector you know university is trying to make money in unscrupulous ways yeah um help trying to, to do this and that funding of universities you know money being stolen through funding of universities you know payroll the role of students as fake students the role of schools as fake schools textbooks you know is a big procurement scandal this is what has killed the key sectors of our country corruption 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 if you deal with corruption you solve 90% of the problems in Kenya. And that is why my message has always been against corruption. 
The reason they brought the impeachment motion against Trigadi Gashagwa is so that we divert our attention. Tuwache kufikiria Adani, tuwache kufikiria Shif, tuwache kufikiria vile wagonjwa wanakufa hospitalini, tuwache kufikiria vile corruption imetumiza, barabara ni mbaya, wananchi wanaumia uchumi ni mbaya, people are not making money, businesses are closing, you know, industries are closing, watu wamepoteza majob, wenye wako na majob wako overtaxed. They didn't want us to focus on this issue. They wanted us to focus on something else. Na nilipo realize kwamba siwezi ku divert your attention because you know the government some of these people own media houses and the government advertises on media houses. So media houses wameshikwa mahali so that if they don't broadcast what these people want then they don't get government tenders to advertise and it's millions and billions of money so because of that the media has made it a you know a national issue not that it has become a national issue nikasema hivi let's also make it our business wacha tuingie kwa hiyo national issue to participate kwa hiyo mambo ya impeachment na participation yetu ni gani let's both of them go because the shago is not better for kenya I mean there is no doubt that Rigathi Gashagwa is corrupt. There is no doubt that he is tribal. There is no doubt that he is incompetent. There is no doubt that he sabotages the president. You know I don't like president William Ruto. I don't like him. But one of us, me or you who is watching this video, one day you will be a president. You can't have a deputy sabotaging you all the time. At you Nairobi, yeah, and a whole press conference Mombasa talking about the NIS, a very sensitive national security organ of which vitu kama hizo ni vitu za kuongewa kwa boardroom when you are a deputy president your job is to deputize the president if you feel you can no longer be a deputy president toka resign and come out here and do politics so even if i hate or dislike william ruto or don't like him as a president because he's a liar he likes lying and corrupt and all these things i don't support the disrespect of our president by a deputy president that i don't support because a deputy president's work is to deputize he's behaving like an opposition leader and we are here eh hey, akianza sasa kufanya opposition within government sisi tufanye kazi gani and if rigadi gashagwa has decided to be an opposition leader it's okay let him tell us the truth he says he's a truthful man atuambie the truth about adani atuambie the truth about shif atuambie the truth about university funding model atuambie the truth about finance bill atuambi the truth about the bribing of members of parliament atuambi the truth about corruption about line 5 petroleum eh, 40 billion for the petroleum line 5 from you know um, Mombasa to Nairobi atuambi about 12 billion loss from treasury atuambi about 15 billion za e citizen zenye zimepotea atuambi ama zijulikani kama ziko ama kuna atuambi about 400 million ya Kiricho Green Stadium ya Madaraka de la Stia let him tell us the truth They've already told us how Gashagwa is corrupt. Why is he not willing to tell us how they are corrupt? So iko iko kitu hapo. So me I don't mind if he is impeached. I don't mind. It's good riddance. It's one bad person down. And it's good because it will set a precedent that a deputy president or a president can be impeached. But the reason we are saying impeach both is because we want to remove the tribal factor from that equation. So that it's not about tribalism anymore. It's about accountability. It's about leaders being accountable. As Morara will continue to champion for the rights of uh, Kenyans, not because of permission or because lazima munishabikie or because of anything, but because this is a personal decision that comes from inside my heart. And I'll not do it even for money or for anything. I'll do it because I believe in it. And those who believe in me can continue supporting me. And um, lastly there's been this conversation about leaderless and individualism and what i can say is that usijidanganye in kenya we have leaders who have been born young and middle class uh, middle age and old there are leaders of integrity stop stepping on those leaders ati mtu akikama hapo mnasema oh you're being individualistic you want to personalize the movement you want to be yes we are leaders that's why the media keeps calling us activists because it doesn't want to call us leaders because they don't want us to be leaders these people are only afraid when we plan to take leadership otherwise they don't care when we call them corrupt they know they are corrupt and they know that their electorate knows that they are corrupt and will still elect them as corrupt 
So what do we do as Kenyans? Hizi shida zote tuko nazo. Hatuwezi fanya maandamano ya Adani, tufanye maandamano ya agricultural bill, tufanye maandamano ya bill ingine wameleta ya extend uh, term limit, tufanye maandamano ya ABC. Let's combine all those issues into one. Ruto and Gashagwa must go. That one, regime change. Let's combine all our issues to regime change. Otherwise, I'll be having more conversations with you. I'm back in circulation and I hope the Lord will go before us. In as much as I applaud him for being super brave and inspirational, is a person like him, an activist like him, rising like that in the midst of all this political oppression and, and intimidation here and there, he needs a strong support system, a strong bodyguard or maybe even part of the military that even supports him, that can protect him. Because these people, these are politicians that are aggrieved, all these MPs and even the president and vice president that they are even, because he's own main thing now is for them to be impeached, for them to be injected or something like that. Or uh, because I used to see inject, inject on his page. So in even in as much as he's fighting for people and people are so supportive, you go to his page, a lot of comment to him to encourage him. Even older people, I thought it was only Gen Z that were supporting him because I just learned that he's 28 or 29 years old. But even people you will be seeing get where soon my son and Richard prefer amazing older, older people they were tourist as, attraction like, that you can just go to your feel relax. You know that you so gone on a vacation and stuff. I used to recommend Kenya to anybody that wants to go for vacation. Just go there and so, chill. I think the protest everything has died down now so you can very travel even when system. it was still on, enough, there, there were some people foreign people, people that support there. It's just that they it didn't go out as much. But now but you can travel. Hey, you can go to other places. Like I always people promote like care. Check so thank you so much for watching they, my video to this point. If you have not subscribed already, so please click on the subscribe button. Let us get this channel to 20,000 subscribers by December. At least uh, let's use it as New Year or Christmas present. To see that thank you so much once again for your love and your support. See you guys in my next one. Peace. You can read the comments. Uh, I'm going to be leaving it as slight if you are interested about the support of people. You can read it and see you guys in my next video.